Hello, and welcome back to finishing that quest. Yay. You know which one. That one. It's always that one. Aw. Aw. I gotta. No, you don't. I gotta. No, you don't. Yes, I you do. Gotta what now? Gotta. Turn east. I gotta. I gotta block the ground. <laughs> Hello, fighter. It's a big bridge. I gotta. You gotta have a battle on it against Gilgamesh? No. I was thinking more like along the, the lines of fighting that giant Bolden. Twilight Princess. Oh yeah, King Bolden. Apparently that's King actually Bulldogs? his name. Yeah, King, King Bolden. <laughs> you know Whoa, King hey, Bolden uh, reminds uh, me of, Robert? I saw that. I follow the strong. That's all I've ever known. You know, you know what design reminds me of, though, Robert? What? An orc. The Warhammer variety. He's decidedly unorking. Yes, yes, he is. Aren't you glad he's unorking? Can you imagine if the Bulbins function like orcs? Gotcha. Then you're a tank. I'm a tank, I'm a tank, I'm a tank. <laughs> Kudos to those who've seen that short story. Oh, you didn't push. Oh, he came out of it. Because he did. <laughs> I like that. Alright, next one. This was going to be part seven. It is? It did hit one! <laughs> Robert! I think we've read this is the one we've read before. Around a hundred years ago, after King Dwarfin ascended to the throne, I am now Robert, a stray guardian crossed upland. Yeah, we, we've read this one before. Yes. A long time If you want to read it again, just pause the video. Or Michael could take the hour it would take to find the original video spot. Also, King Dorophon is a, is a beast of a man. Yeah, he, a beast of a man. The fact that he can lift up a, a He's not a man, he's a fish. The fact that he can lift up a freaking guardian and just chuck it into a ravine. I wish we could do that. Humans are made for other things. Like screwing up the world. Yes. Ah, here we go. Oh, hey, look. Jeez. You're gonna kill yourself doing that. Now it's seven. Now it's six. Damn it, Robert. History of the Zora, part six. Divine Beast Valruta is told by King Dorfan. When the Divine Beast Valruta was first discovered at Zora's domain, my daughter Mifa hurried to see it. Those present that day say they saw an unusual sparkle of excitement in Mifa's normally calm eyes as she beheld Ruta. The princess spoke of the divine beast as she would a friend, and, and overjoyed when she was chosen to pilot Ruta. I thought nothing of it at the time, but given the events that followed, I now regret allowing this to happen. I've spent many long years consumed by guilt. My dearest wish is that her soul will know peace. I pray for it every day. What was okay. with that cadence? That was weird. Why did you I I had resigned myself to say to, to speak about that as ridiculously as possible. All I could think was Don Knotts. <laughs> it did kind of sound like Don Knotts. At yeah. least you didn't William Shatner it. William Shat yourself? Oh no, my acting is going Shatner. <laughs> what is a woman doing on my ship? Lame or There's terrible. something on the wing. There's some thing on the wing. You know, with all the times you break that thing, I'm surprised it comes back to you. How about that thing? <clears throat> That's its job to protect your ass. Who's this? History of the Zora, Part 7. The hero who defeated the Lionel, as told by King Dorfin. There was a time when the people of the land were threatened by a... Dread, dread beast? beast? The Dread Beast, yeah. By the Dread Beast Lionel, who lived on Plymouth Mountain. But when Helen drove the beast yeah, drove the beast back and restored. restored peace to the domain. The Zora Helm won in this fight. Won in this fight is, is now north, north is now north of Blank in the Blank near Blank Lake. And the ruins near something lake. Yeah, I, I know which lake it is. This We've is what it. this is what points you to that helmet I got way a long time ago. It rests there to honor the deeds of the hero Link. Time has taken its toll on this. 
Okay, yeah, it was talking about right here. Toto Lake, that's what it's called. Uh, Toto Finito. Here it is. Uh, now north of blank in the ruins near Toto Lake. North of the... What it was a three-letter word? North of the something. North of... On the map again. Because it was right Scroll here. down. Scroll south. Hmm? Scroll south. Keep uh, going south. I did. I'm looking for three-letter words. Okay, well, it had to be right here, Aaron. T-Z-D? The Zora Domain? Don't be dumb. Anyway. Yeah, they've uh, been three-letter words. Remove your marker. Disappear. Hello, marker. It's probably up at the highest point. That wouldn't make any sense, because I pinned it right here. Only one thing to do. Remove Delete. It. Now we got to get over there. i got to get over there. we got to get in there. You're almost out of gas. Time to fuel it up. Time to go off the cliff. Let's throw some random junk in it. Or send it into the lake. Turns out I don't have to go high. I can just glide over. I guess I get like the last one. History of the Zora Part 3. Miracle of the White Scale, as told by King Dora. I remember this one. Our scholars say that in the distant past, Zora's domain had a king with no special talent for the art of war. What he lacked in skill with the blade, he made up for in love for his people, and especially love for his queen. One day, News reached the king of a horde of monsters gathering in the Zedabon Highlands. The king steeled himself for war to protect his people, but the queen knew how ill-suited for the task he was. Worried for his life, she wove one of her own scales into his armor, hoping that her love would protect him in battle. It seemed for a time that the tide of battle favored the Zora, and that all would make it safely home. But the cunning was all first general, saw an opening and seized it, driving the king's forces into a corner. Just when the general sword was ready to crash down upon the king, a miracle took place. An errant sun being reflected from the scale in his armor, blinded the Lazalfos, stopping the death blow from falling. This was the chance the king needed to rally his forces and turn the tide, taking down the general and securing victory. This can be known as the Miracle of the White Scale, a scale that only female Zora possess. It was it was this miracle that began the tradition of Zora princesses crafting armor for their future husbands. Which is where I got this lovely thing from. This lovely thing from. In the it was crafted by Mifa for Link. Obviously she thought she was going to marry him. <laughs> that would have been an awkward situation. And then in Twilight Princess you find out that the king How do I be. do? Fish waifu. <laughs> then you find out later that the king of that the Zazora king in Twilight Princess. The oh, Majora good. Armor. There's one super close to it. I don't have to climb up. That would be so annoying. I hope this is the last one. Nope. You know, if I ever did redo this project, which I guarantee you Robert wouldn't sit in for, I would definitely do things a lot differently, such as cutting out those loading screens. Except for every time something new gets added to it. Hmm. Uh, this way. You could just do that and re-upload everything. God. No! <laughs> we talked through so many Plus of Plus I was talking about how I wish I did the shrines differently, like go to them but not do them, and then do them all at once, and then I did that for the <clears throat> DLC shrines, and that actually worked out wonderfully. Yes. Well. Uh, it was... Aaron, wasn't it? No, it was Robert. I did oh. the last one. Okay, Robert. History of the Zora, Addendum 2, Prince Sidon's Great Escape. There was once a giant octorok in Tano Bay, large as a mountain, which terrorized the village fishers. Hearing of their distress, Prince Sidon went forth personally to eliminate the offending octorok. But this octorok was a tricky beast. After the prince dodged one of the stones spat, it inhaled him whole. Such has been the fate of many strong warriors who went to slay the Octorok. Not one had come back alive. So that Octorok took him whole. 
Just as it seemed, Prince Sidon would be counted among them, the giant Octorok twisted in pain. The tip of a silver scare spear pierced his stomach without a nod of heart meant the Octorok's stomach from within, revealing itself as a source of beast's agony. Incredibly, Prince Sidon had fought his way out by stabbing his spear over and over into the monster's stomach. Unable to bear the pain, the Octorok coughed up the prince and scrambled to escape. Ever since the fishes of Ateno Bay have passed down this heroic tale, the prince, the prince who slew the fell Octorok from inside. But he didn't slay it, it said it ran. Uh, it probably died from its wounds. I have another issue with this. Where's my giant Octoroks to fight? Where's my Stupid big Octo? Game. I don't want to fight a big Octo. I want, I want one that can take me whole. Giggity. How's mm. uh, it? Ah, hello. Red light from the skies. This way. Uh oh, you're being targeted. Bye. And before it destroys you, before you can guard. Ow. Oh, you thought I would be stylish. I thought I could be stylish, but no. And now after it has shot you, it gives no fucks. Dead. Oh, hey, just look, you Show him off a cliff. But no, you let him go. You let him go by shattering him into a million pieces. You kuzoned him. That's what he deserved. That's a lot of work. I'm coming for you, ready or not. Hard, hard, hard. Uh, my friends. That's good enough. They love to torture me. Great, it's raining. It's a good thing I don't need to climb. It's right down there. Yeah. I guess Michael gets the eventually last one. <clears throat> Memoir of the Gifted Stone, Mason. What an honor it was to receive a personal request from the King Dwarfin to craft a historical stone monument. I did not realize how much context he'd given me, though it certainly exceeded the line limits of a single monument. I suppose I could have just shortened the text, but it felt wrong to tamper with our great king's words. Thankfully, I was able to split it all between seven monuments to ensure that every word was preserved. I have always prided myself on my ability to think outside the box. I am so very adaptable and humble as well. While I was at it, I thought, why not add two of my own? And so I created one for King Dwarfin and one for Prince Sidon. True, this is outside the scope of my commission, but I believe their triumphs deserve as much. But why stop at that? Why, indeed, my achievement surely deserves remembrance too. That is how a commission of one became ten. Of course, having increased the number of monuments, I had to find places for them all that proved difficult. Still, it is worth it, so long as I remember to sign these monuments. My name will be remembered forever, as it should be. Uh, he well, didn't sign wait, them. you didn't. He didn't sign any of them. Oops. <laughs> also, he put two of them way the hell out here. One here, one here, and everything else over in here. I think the idea was for you to read them as you traveled up. Probably, but still, I'm talking about from a from an actual in-game perspective, not from our perspective of a guy's playing a game. In-world, in-world, not in-game is what I meant to say. That is a fishy palace. You should use up your last block of the ground so you can get it recharging. Happy? Yes. I've never been happy. I was about to say that. You should also use up your last jump and all of your life. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to slam this on the ground. We got one more. But are we done? History of the Zora, part 7. Didn't we already get seven? Yes. The hero who defeated the Lionel, as told by King... Wait, wasn't this, this the same thing? This is exactly the same thing, yes. What? That doesn't make any sense. 
But why, though? I think you took a printing of that one. Time was taking its toll on this. Ah! Oh, Luke! It was said we all trapped all the stone monuments for me. Now then, please tell me what was written on them. Several hours later... <laughs> oh, their history, our culture, folklore, and various heroics of the proud Zora people. It's all here. Eureka! Thanks to you, I've compiled the precious information for those stone monuments. <laughs> Link, thank you for taking on such an arduous task. Please, allow me to reward you. Ooh, Yay! Diamond. We got okay. something more than that for you. Yep, a diamond. You know what else is covered in diamonds? Diamonds. Oh, hey, you know, you should show off remaking each of the champion's weapons at some point. Diamonds. Because you need diamond for that. And that would be a good use for your diamonds. Light Scale trying to suck, so it doesn't do a lot of damage. But it's cool looking. I might remake the Rito bow. From That's behind, this armor kind of reminds crusher. me of Corrin's Hoshijin armor. <laughs> the cobble, anyway. The Cobble Crusher is the best one. I think right it's there. time to finish up a quest over in here. So let's do that real quick. Link! Away! Skip another loading screen. What's the opposite of away? Come. Link! Come! No! 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 Why, Aaron? You I asked, have, I answered. I would have gone with Link has arrived. It's all Aaron's fault. No, you should have thought, thought of fault. better words. Sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. I don't need these rushrooms, but I want them anyway. That ah, whatever. Bye. You suck. He really does. Hi, cats. Hey, best character. He now, where's that old man at? Where's the old man from scene twenty-four? Not enough. Uh, hey, uh, I thought you'd come back. You bring the stuff. I got him. <clears throat> now remember when that one Zora counted each luminous stone one at a time? What if he did that for the restrooms? Oh good god. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, they're all here. I left that rock I promised you behind the stable. Ah. Beats me why anyone would go to such trouble for a little old rock. I'd rather have shrooms any day. <laughs> here, come back when you get more. I'm always ah. here. I can't give you any more diamonds. Wait, what? What about a diamond? But I can offer twice the market value for them. Just remember that I won't deal in any volume other than 55 at a time. 50? Um, that is way too excessive. I would never, ever trade those them again. You said I would only behind here. I would only do the one simply for the quest. I'm guessing thing. this is it. He, re he spoiled what it was. I think he told you what it was. Like exactly, he spoiled time. what it was. No, I mean the first time. I don't know. Anyway, do I have any more quests in this particular locale? This I is... I do not believe so. Okay. You <sighs> still have the Leviathans to turn in. Yes. Yep, I don't remember where that's at, though. <laughs> it's in a stable. What? Where did it What? There. You should be able to look up the Leviathan photograph thing and find out where it is. Gavali's yep. Gale is now ready. We take this into the desert. I really wish you could too. It pisses me off that you can't. You I still mean, care? Seriously. I understand not taking a horse out here, but this? Come on. There's literally no reason why you shouldn't be able to take a vehicle out here, because there are cars that active that literally drive in the desert. The wheels on that thing would be perfectly suited for the sand. Yep. And the worst part is there's no sand seals right here. Not to mention, sand seals are kind of ass. Eh, they're not that bad. Well, the ones you rent are, anyway. The ones you get for free are eh. Especially trying to actually get one. Wait, mm -hmm. is... No, there's no sand seals There's only recharge. Get electrocuted, son. Except for this guy, apparently. He's a lightning Lizalfos. <laughs> Ow. Walked right into that. Quick, hit him in his nose. Hmm. Something's weird. Maybe if I do this. Ow. Ow. 
I'm trying to do a thing and it's not working. What are you trying to do? Uh, something. Let's get rid of that shield, by the way. I don't want to accidentally damage it. Maybe if I use this one? You shithead. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Maybe, maybe I need to do that. Did they patch it out in the last couple of days or something? They might have. I don't know what, what you're were you trying to do? to do. Okay, they're... Oh, wait. I think I'm doing it wrong. Hold on. That's not it. I did it the other day flawlessly. No problem. There we go. <laughs> Oh, he can still electrocute me? Just slide away. Yeah, just Bye. slide away. This is such a dumb glitch. <laughs> What's dumb about it? I've never done this. I've never done that during the recording. I felt like finally doing it just because. That's why I've had this stupid sword out. I just haven't really run across anything to use it on. This sword should help keep you cooler out here. Also, it is. Why are you running around in the desert when you cannot? Because there's no sand sills. I can't bike. I can't horse. Hey, hey. But you can teleport. Not to where I'm going. If you travel anywhere near Gerudo Town, I'm gonna to ask why you didn't teleport to Gerudo Town and then go from there. That's ten arrows. <laughs> we. There's the Oasis. Yep. Yo Oasis. Yo Oasis. Shut up, lady. No one wants to talk to you. Three is fine. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, the reason I traveled way out here is to show you a thing. What's that thing, you ask? Really? Really? There's a freaking spoon in my way? You have maximum arrows. Oh, I do? Yes. Oh, damn. I can't really show it off at all, then. Just use up <laughs> some arrows and then come back. Ah! Hey! Alright, you have enough to show it off with. Okay. Arrow! What? My count's rising. How is this possible? Okay. The root protection. Ah, you get the idea. Basically, if you take a multi shot bow, set it on fire, and shoot it off, well, you can collect all those arrows back. For some strange magical reason. I hope they never patch this out. Because now we have a way to farm arrows again. With this, I can get a surplus two arrows every for every arrow I fire, and if I use the Savage Lionel Bow five shots, then I can double that collection speed. For every one arrow I fire, I'll get four back. Unfortunately, this means you have to break a bow. Yep. I went through about four of my bows, which is why I had to fight some Lionels to replenish my stock. <laughs> and why I have some three shots now, because not all Lionels give the five shot. Um, so yeah, that's that thing. Grace is ready. Hello, you wife. Are fully Shisha recharged. Us. Okay, I need to figure out what my next stop is, and I don't really know, so let's figure that out. Where is the Tebra? I mean, the uh, skeleton. Why is it so far down? There we go. Uh, hey, there is one in Hateno Village. There's one in Terrytown too. East of Kala Stable, South of Kala Stable, Snowfield Stable. Basically, every stable. Hey, there's one right here in Kara Kara Bazaar. Oh, really? Uh, medicine is made by combining a bug with chilling effects with monster parts. So I gotta make one? That'll yeah. be easy. You've got a cooking pot right in front of you. What is it now? One coal bug and monster parts. And you, you something have, else. You should have a cold darner. Bug with chilling effects with monster parts. Yeah, that's okay. all you need. All you need is a cold darner and a, uh... And a uh, bunch of Bokoblin horns. Oh, here they are. Uh, that's you can also wing. use a winter wing butterfly. <coughs> you only need one, so... Unless you use one. 
and monster parts. Horns. It has to be a horn? It could be No, but this is the like... most numerous one. Yeah, just use something that you've got a lot of. Chili elixir. Now, who wanted that? The burrito. Oh, right! Hey, burrito guy! Hi. <clears throat> Hello there! Oh, could it be? Here's an elixir! Oh. Thank you! Now I can get across the desert while it's still light out! Here, let me give you something in return. Not Ooh, worth it! it. Ah. By the way, in Grudo, thank you, is Sarkso. Uh, Sarkso. Sarkso! Oh. I never knew the desert in the middle of the day could get so darn hot. I guess you can't really understand something until you've experienced it for yourself, huh? Not gonna leave yet? Oh. With this elixir, I can go as soon as I want, but there's no rush, really. I think I'll leave tomorrow. Don't tell me you're a procrastinator like me. He's right? never going to leave. Oh great, he's a procrastinator like me. And if it was nighttime, he'd say it was cool, but he doesn't want to leave yet. Days. Say it's too hot to leave, and you make it cool for him, he just doesn't want to leave yet. Oh, so he's actually Robert. Yeah, he's never going to leave. Alright, so... Why is it keeping him way down there? Quit it. That's the, that's the one you were on that you... Basically... There is a lot more quests left than just this, but I feel like I'm just gonna finish off the ones I got going since they're pretty much, I just gotta turn them in. So I'm gonna get those and then I'll finally go fight Ganon to appease Robert. And me. And we'll call it a project. So right now we need to go for the Leviathan Bones and Serene Stable. So I guess in the next episode, which one is that? There it is. In the next episode, we will be at Serene Stable. Well, close to it anyway. So we'll see you guys then. Goodbye, y'all! Poof!